Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. Hope you're having a great day today. Looks like our uh, colony's doing... Eh, we're doing pretty well, I think. I think we are, anyway. We've got uh, our buddy here. He's going to come on in and uh, get himself healed up. I've also got uh, Aramis here, who's going to scout that area, and Kate, who's going to scout okay. that area. All right, I think we're done with the map. All right, so um, we're going to pick up right where we left off here. we got three of the solar panels, which are facing that direction. That's kind of interesting, because I'm pretty sure I laid them in facing that way. So maybe they, uh, maybe these things rotate over time or something. I have no idea. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. Uh, so we're about to run out of metal in this storage area here. We've got 32 here to get uh, and turn into metal here, I guess. We're about to run out of that. And then we're going to have the scrapper go ahead and search this area instead. I think I want to upgrade this to an advanced scrapper. There's not really a reason not to do that. It's just a straight buff to what it can do. So I like this a lot. The problem is that I'm going to need 10 metal to do it. That's, that's a problem because we're currently using metal. Now, I'm a little bit fast on this. Like, I didn't really need to do this many things. And I think this battery here, we can probably tear it down. We don't need it yet. Uh, especially since this battery is not even... Oh, high heat wave. Good for you. Uh, so, we got a heat wave coming in. Now, I don't think this is... I don't think this is very useful. And the resources are currently tied up in it. So, if I cancel construction here... We're going to go ahead and get that stuff back. And that's going to allow us to use it. So I think because we can't even use this battery yet, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop in a transformer. And you can see how the the yellow lines there, right? They they kind of they lead up to where they're going to have to be, right? They connect. So you, you, can, you know what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this transformer, I think, is about here. Mm, how big is the battery? It looks like a little bit bigger than the transformer. Maybe I'll just place it right on the corner. Because it's going to give me room to expand it and stuff. And I also need to transport everything. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and place the transformer here. And the transformer has to build. That's going to use some of those components and a little bit of those metals and stuff. But now that we have 15 metal, actually, all of those go to here, don't they? Yeah, they do. Well, all right, then. I was going to say, now that we have 15 metal, I can go ahead and upgrade this. But, uh, eh... The problem with upgrading the scrapper, right, is that you need to collect metal in order to use it. And if you try to upgrade this before you have enough to do it, then you're never going to get enough to do it, right? Unless your people on the map bring it back to you or something. Mission complete. What's up, Kate? All right, so we see some stuff in here. There's another observatory. We could set up another camp in here. That's actually pretty nice. All, all this persistent research. I do... I kind of feel like I want to... The next camps I'm going to set up, though, are resource-based. Like, the, the clothes and all stuff. All cleaned up. Alright, good. Your scavenging speed is 100%. Your research speed is terrible. So, I'm going to have you go... What is... What is flying around over here? Look at all this stuff flying around. What is this? Whoa. I don't, I don't know. That's weird. Anyway, we're going to go here. Job done. And then Vegas has finally finished getting the electronics. Good for you, sir. You're not going to scavenge anything anymore. No, no, you're not. Uh, you could go here, I guess, for two days. It only does five damage to you. That's going to take you eight days, but this only takes you three. Which is still a long time. You know what? Just Go return on. to the colony. It's fine. You got some stuff on you. We're going to bring it back. Okay. Uh, and then we got our buddy here, Reporting Pinkman. In. He's now here and resting, getting himself healed up uh, just by being in the camp. So as soon as this is built, we should start seeing the solar energy from here transfer into the battery. Yeah. And now we should start seeing battery storage. So we have 24 gen power generation, and we're going to start seeing the storage build up, and that's what we need. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to lay in the environmental station. I plan on that being right here. And it looks like it's going to fit nicely and it's going to be powered, which is good. Um, I might want to move it even just a little bit further away. Just to, like, I can give another more room for more stuff here if I want to. Um, if I move it right on top of this, then I don't have enough room for, like, the same structures. And this is still powered if I put it here. So I kind of like it here instead. So we're giving myself a little bit more room, right? 
And uh, this environmental station, it's going to take 25 components, but also it's 150 concrete. So we're not even going to be able to build that yet. I'm going to pause it as a result just so we don't waste the resources. But we're going to leave it here. And then the last thing we're going to need, in addition to uh, this, is we're going to need a place to store the waste. And I don't remember which menu that's in. It's got to be right here. Waste dump also requires concrete. It also causes pollution, which, I mean, I feel like I could probably just set it over here with, with the environmental station a little bit and then just have a maintenance center managing all of this stuff, probably. So I'm going to place this, I think. Well, hang on. Don't do it on fertile land. Ooh. Yeah. Yeesh. Uh, I might want to rethink of where the waste is going. Maybe over here. I might stick it way over here, which is, I mean, it's not the greatest, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but at least it's away from the colony and it's not in fertile land. I just don't want it to get in the way of the power. I think probably right about here is, is good-ish. Yeah, you could put it like right here. It's so far away though, right? They're going to dump it over there. So you, ideally you want this to be close by. How about, how about over here? This little patch right here. We just come down. With the road all the way to uh, like here i'm good with that we'll place it there for now instead uh and then nope don't do that just pause it i just want to be able to i just want to place it so i know where, where it is okay so those two that's where they're going to be we're collecting power as you know not generating any at night as you know it's all solar do we have wind power still that's still a thing in the game isn't it should be in infrastructure. Should still be a thing. Bigger barrels, drilled wells, wind power. There it is. All right. Cool. Uh, the durability coating could be something I'm interested in doing uh, as soon as handicraft is done. Handicraft is one of the prerequisites to getting concrete going. So we got to do that. And now we got bandits at the gate. Oh, good. Let's go ahead and uh, reinforce the gate. And then just because we can, let's make sure we get somebody like Hakeem up front. And I don't really want Pinkman up there. He's he's already going to be up there. But I just want you kind of hanging out up here up front, okay? So we got a whole bunch of... We got three people in here. 65% reinforced gate. We shouldn't have a problem with these guys at all. And now we have a heat wave. So let's just take care of this right now before we have that problem. Approaches the gate, dragging someone with them. Now... Interestingly, I actually think five meds is worth a colonist. Because we have a lot of meds. I think five meds is worth having a colonist. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to fight them. I think I'm actually going to do this. Yeah, and we get 25 happiness as a result of rescuing someone too. I, I think that's a better call. So let's go ahead and just unequip those guys. Let you guys do whatever you want to do. And now we have a heat wave. Now that's going to kill the crops. I probably should have harvested, but I am, you know, slacking. I'll tell them to harvest now, and we'll see if we can save any of it. We're down 28 water, okay? So we're going to be... Yeah, we're going to need to do this. Nope. We already have somebody in the water collection. Okay. So we're down 28 water with the water collection. We've made a new discovery. Interesting. Crafts might wither. Water has doubled. Yeah. Handicraft is done. And now we can start making our own tools and stuff. Provided, of course, we have the resources, which we don't. Uh, we, we do have for the tailor. We could be... We have, we have fibers and stuff, so we could make clothing. But bartering is next, and then concrete scavenging. It's very strange to have concrete scavenging after bartering. Like, not even in a, in a tree. Like, it's just you have to go through bartering to get to concrete scavenging. It's... I don't know if I like that. I feel like bartering should have been something that's kind of accessory, you know, like uh, a branch of the tree as opposed to like the, the trunk, the stump, the, you know, whatever. You, you get what I'm saying. I can't speak today, so I'm going to be stuttering all over the place. All right. Actually, before we get that, I have 10 metal and I'm not spending any on construction, right? So I think I'm going to spend on the upgrade now. Yes, let's go ahead and upgrade this now. Because we have the 10 metal. And then once this gets done, then we'll go off and get these two. 
and that will give us a good steady supply of metal accelerated from what we had before hopefully uh we got people who need clothing yeah yeah so for this we need a tailor and uh it's gonna take 20 metal for that too so we're gonna have to wait a little bit to get that but the tailor i think i'm gonna have that be maybe right over here because uh, we get the furs and stuff from hunting and everything and all the supplies like stored right here so I i'm thinking this might be my first sort of location for that um i could place it right place it right here i don't think it will get in the way of the fertile land here yeah it doesn't really get in the way of fertile land i like the really fertile land anyway uh if i go off this way then the road is a little bit weird and if i go here then i eliminate a tree i could also bring it over here but i think this is more of an industrial thing so I'm going to place this. Uh, I, I, honestly, I kind of like it here instead. Yeah, maybe I just maybe I just leave the road there and just let them walk that extra little distance. It's not that big of a deal, right? It looks better here. I'm going to place it here. It just looks better here. All right. And then uh, we'll have them build this, but I want this built next. So like this is this is the priority. And then you build this. And, uh, you know, they'll deliver the resources here, but it's this. Yep. I got to make sure that this gets the metal. So it looks like we're good. Building's going down. Let's check the map really quick. Just want to make sure uh, yes. Vegas is on his way back. I really don't think he should scavenge, but I need the components badly, right? We, sh we really should have him pick up these components on the way back. Unless I can have somebody like Hakeem. Actually, Hakeem is full sure. health. You could probably do it quicker, right? How far away is this? Oh, that's really... No, you can't do it quicker. What's up? Vegas is going to do this now. He cannot... Nobody else can do that quicker. Gotcha. All right, so we're going to have that happen. He's going to bring back 47 components with him. It's going to take him a few extra days, but he's going to do that oh, for us. Uh, we got some weapons here. That would be cool to have. Uh, and then there's also 30 research every 12 hours. You're tempting me. Look at this. 25, 30. Very nice. Let's go uh, get this area. This is all urban stuff, so there should be lots of survivors. Yeah, there is. And then uh, how about... Oh, you're getting the iodine pills. Anyone else doing anything on the map right now? Scavenging, scavenging, and then just observing. Right. Yeah, nobody else is doing anything. Okay. I think Hakeem should go back to the map now. Yeah, he's he's not full health, but that's weird. There's a disconnect. See, this this shows not full health, right? But this shows full health, and so does this. But this does not. Kind of weird. Send it back to the map. All right, Hakeem. Iterative progress. What's that? What does iterative progress mean? I wish I could click on those and and see what that means. Where is Hakeem? Uh -huh. Over here. Okay, so Hakeem, let's have you go get antibiotics. And then the story after that, I think. Yeah. I'm going to send you after the antibiotics. Your scavenging speed is super good. Specialist ready for action now. And how much on water? Okay, we're down a little bit less than half. I think we're going to be okay. I think we'll survive the heat wave just fine. All done. We don't really have anything in here other than more science points to get. It only takes her 23 hours to do. It takes her a little bit of time to get there, but uh, there's a threat there, so she'll take 10 extra damage. I think she can handle that. Yeah, she'll be all right. She can handle it. Go get that. And then... Uh, all cleaned up. Scavenging is done. Wow, you are quick. Cool. Um, let's have you... Uh, maybe I have you go after the story. I'm going to have you go after the story beyond tomorrow. And then we still haven't destroyed that extra bandit camp. It actually looks like there's two of them now. Nuclear plants. We have to take, I think, both of them out, right? Yeah. These are very, they're very well guarded, too. So, we'll have a, we have a bit of a war on our hands. Yeah. All right, we'll accelerate time here. I hope I'm hoping that just everything, you know, I'm just hoping that our water lasts the entire time. 
It looks like it will. I'm starting to see it get a little bit less red. And hopefully the heat wave ends before we run out of water. Come on, come on, come on. We're going to build another water storage. If I can find it. Yeah, right here. Um, the water tower It's about wherever that cookhouse is going to be, right? I think I might move the recycler. I think I want the cookhouse to be right here. Hmm. But like right next to pollution though? I don't know. 69% richness, 78, 57. This one over here is just still trash. Ah, you are done. Advanced scrapper. Go get that stuff. And then we're going to put an extra person in there too. That should get us all the metal we need to build this. And then we can start uh, getting to work on making clothes for people. Because as you can see, people are not protected. A group crawling towards the gate. Please have clothes. Seeing eccentrics in these parts okay. is not uncommon. <gasps> but even then, this group is unlike anything anyone's ever seen. Dude, I can give them 20 potatoes and they'll give me 25 components. That's really awesome. I know I need the clothes, but the components are a lot harder to get. I'm get I'm taking those. Like, I please have clothes, and then I don't trade them for clothes. I know. I know. But the components are way harder to get. And, uh, like, significantly more limited. So. Like, eventually, as soon as this is built, right? 17 more metal. We build this, and we start making our own clothes right away. We cannot do that with components. And components are holding us back from building other, other structures like this. Although, so is concrete. Yeah, concrete mostly. Um, yeah. Once this is built... I think then we'll I'll go ahead and turn this on so they can uh, build this next. And then I think I might move the recycler since this pile is, is well half done. But once this is done, it's better to have the recycler be um, just kind of the structure that's over here, right? Wait, where's my recycler? Didn't I put a recycler down over here? I thought I did. I had a I had an idea in my mind to put a recycler right here, but I guess I didn't do it. I could have swore I did. I'm I'm imagining things, right? You're just, just tell me I'm crazy. I could have swore I did this. Alright, anyway, um, let me maybe it was like one of those things where I was thinking about it offline and then I just never did it. But the advanced Yeah, the advanced uh the recycler was gonna go over here. Because there's three piles. I was gonna put it like right here in the middle for all three piles, I think. Oh, I, I never did it because it's fertile land, right? Yeah, I could put it right here, though. I swear, I, I, I'm having deja vu right now. I could have swore I've done this already. What is going on with my head right now? Uh, okay, let me put this down here. Right there. We're going to get extra people on plastic now, too. All right. And then once that's... You know, honestly, I think maybe we just pause that. Um, it's, it's almost built. Screw it. Uh, could, because I don't need the plastic, right? I want more, I want labor on things that I need. So maybe I will just pause it really for quick. And then once I want to move, the, uh oh, wait, you're all thirsty. Oh no, you're all thirsty. Heat wave, go away. Heat wave, go away. There are survivors. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, we could totally take more survivors. Absolutely. <laughs> no. Heat wave, go away. Let me survive. I know we're low on clothes, and we have, like, no <sighs> reserves used until production increases. Yeah, reserves. Nothing. Yeah. Oh, Ragged boy. Bunch shuffles slowly towards the Another scavenger is cool. 200% scavenging and I don't have to pay for them and they are bringing sturdy clothing with them you're in come on in absolutely come on in we can totally we can we can house you I'm sure of it we just gotta build more houses we can totally house these guys right yeah oh boy I just need the heat wave to go away so that we can don't have a water problem anymore please thank you get, get your drinks please Four unhappy colonists are threatening to leave. Uh, can we make you happier? Somehow get your happiness up. Yeah, your happiness is going up. 
Days until departure. Are they actually going to leave, though? Or can I somehow fix this? Like, if I make them more happy, will they leave? Still? Nothing will stop us, he says. Hmm. <laughs> this is not good. I guess I'm going to have four people abandon me. We, at least we didn't have anybody die. Not yet, anyway. Um, all right, we have homeless people, so let me build... Oh, no. All right, it looks like we have room behind this. Let me build another shanty here. Up against the road? I think it was one away from the road, right? Yeah. Here. And here. And here. Okay. Right up next to that boiler right there. Or burner, I suppose. Three houses. Uh, we'll say that... Uh, I'm queuing up too many things at once, I know. But this is done now. We're making clothes. Excellent. Let's get this built next. And then... <laughs> and then... I don't know what to do, man. There's there's a lot going on right now. That, that heat wave is a lot longer than I thought it would be. Um, let's go ahead and get Darius here to get the story. What do we have here? A large, dome-shaped building greets the visitors. Deep scratch marks decorate the thick steel door, forced slightly ajar. It takes some time and considerable effort to gain access into the dome. The dome is only an outer layer for some maintenance facilities and for an entrance to a steep stairway leading deep underground. After descending what feels like thousands of stairs, the specialist finally comes to a larger opening. Mummified corpses litter the dark room. A journal is found by a small body, and the scribbly handwriting paints a grim picture. Daddy stopped moving this morning. My hair is falling out. The adults say it's just pollution and that we can go back out soon. Oh boy. That is dark. I've got 1700 bucks. I'm going to hire another one. Another scavenger. Good. Uh, I'm going to get another one. So getting um, getting these extra specialists means I can get extra people on the map too, which is nice. The question I have though is whether or not these guys are actually going to leave. They're kind of... They're just hanging out. Do they, Are they actually going to leave? Or... You know... Can I raise their happiness and get them to stay? We've made a new discovery. Maybe there's the thing. Protesting. A uh, colonist refuses to work and is threatening to leave the colony. If their level of happiness improves, they might decide to stay. Okay. So I, I just... That's all it is, right? I just need to make them happier. Which, huh? I mean, it, it is going up. So is their contamination. <laughs> Everything is going up. All right. So... Research-wise. Bartering is unlocked. We don't have enough to do sca concrete scavenging, and that's really the big thing I, want, I need to do. One thing I could do, possibly, is barter for concrete, if anybody has it. Oh, we also have torches. Cool. Uh, let's put a torch right here. Cool? Cool. And then, um, while we are here with our water problems, it's been made very clear we have water problems, I can go ahead and get... Actually, why not just do a tower? They're the exact same thing. But one takes metal. That's a clear victory. It's clear which one's better. There we go. Uh, and then the, the water tower will probably go in here. And then I can get rid of this and put the kitchen here. Construction finished on the torch. Does that make anybody happier? These things used to make... Well, okay. It used to imply that these things would make people happy. But now I'm not so sure. Can we... Basic clothing. Yep. Just... just Use the fibers. I should have a ton of them. 68 fibers. I should have a ton of these. Why are you not working? Who's who's supposed to be here? Who's the guy? Huh? You, Harrison. Oh. It's the one protesting. Of course it is. Can I reassign? I hate that I can't reassign an actual person that will work this. I hate that it has to be the protester. I need to assign the protester to a different building, and then I can do it. That's the way it always has been, man. Harrison goes there now, and then somebody else can go here. Theo. Mm -hmm. Not protesting. Okay, good. Welcome in. 
Oh, I hate I hate that so much. Like, let me choose the workers, please. Going. Let's go ahead and get that zone searched, and then uh, we've got a couple of different scavengers that can totally Come go. I, I think one of these is going to become. Your orders. Whichever one's less useful, huh? I guess. Yes. Uh, research is really slow with you. Yes. The scavenging is the same speed. Attack yes. is the same. AP Your is orders. one less on the one what dude. You Your command. So. Your command. His, right. his research speed is a lot faster, though. Shoot. Nomad, you're the winner, dude. Nomad is the winner. It would be... Well, actually, maybe Pinkman. He hits harder, though. He hits exceptionally harder. He's very slow. Yeah, I, I, I think I need the one that can... Hmm. Travel the fastest, maybe, is the better call. I don't know. They're kind of the same to me. So, Nomad, you're the winner. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, so, we're going to take you, and we're going to have you go all the way up here to, to Mall Town. And we're going to get these clothes with you. So, in three turns, it's like four turns. Uh, yeah. We're going to have you come all the way up here. You got it. And then we're going to create an outpost in this area and get access to the clothing on an ongoing basis. And that's gonna be really helpful because we don't have any clothing. We need to go do that, you know? We need all sorts of stuff. Everything we can get. Let's let them... Uh, we don't still have any homeless, do we? No, now that that's built, we... Nope, we're good. Emergency shelter has only four people in it. Okay, let's build this next. And then we can... Uh, build... How's my lumber mill? Lumber yard. Yeah, you need to have your work area move just a little bit. Maybe I'll just have you go real wide here. Like, right here. All the lumber you want. Same thing with the forester. I think we'll have you kind of just keep foresting this whole area, okay? Should have more than enough wood to do that. And then once we start getting the cookhouse, right, we're going to start digging into our firewood supply. So we'll put an extra person on firewood at that point. All the colonists decided to stay. Yay. We quelled the mutiny. Good. I was I was a little bit concerned about it, but I've never had anybody leave. And I, I don't know if it would have been like a violent leave or just like, yeah, we're out of here. You know? We've banned it to the gate. Ragged people are outside the gate. Oh, good. Let's do this really quick. And then um, I want to get another well started. I really need another one. Oh, wow. This is 100%. Whoa. So it's just far enough away from the other ones. Cool. There's like an in-between zone here. I like it. Right next to this. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so we'll get that other well going. That's going to give us an extra 12 water. And that should help us store more. Because right now we're not even storing enough. Let's uh, let it run for just a tiny bit longer because we have a little bit of time to wait until they get here. On it. Job done. Vegas is done with the components. Have you returned to colony, okay. please? Uh, who else is done? Mission complete. Aramis is done. That's with the uh, anti-radiation medicine. We have some science points here. You don't really collect them very fast, but um, I don't. Also, don't really know if I necessarily need them right now. Um, see what you see. You just got us stuff too. Uh, let's have you search that zone and we'll have yes. you Aramis. I'm going to have you work your way down towards the bandit camps. Yeah, we're going to get ready to attack one of these. Uh, I'd like you here. My pleasure. And then while you're waiting, you can search this zone. And then once she's done, she'll come back. And then we're going to send somebody else Hold out on. to meet with you. Hi, tools. This is nice, actually. Uh, yes, please. Get the tools. Get the really nice tools. All right. Bandits at the gate. They, uh, they shouldn't beat us. All right? We got that upgraded wall now. We got three people on it. Shouldn't be a problem. And then let's make sure we get concrete scavenging. Still not enough. Oh, it's 350. I thought you were 250. 
I saw this. You know, like the interface, like this. See? 250, 250, I assumed. Uh, okay, well, instead of that then, maybe, maybe scavenger teams? Just we can have extra people getting us stuff, right? That's fine. And then once we get concrete unlocked, then they'll be able to get that stuff too. I assume. Okay, are we ready to fight this? These people have clearly been through a lot. They look frail and are likely easy to overpower. But the look on their faces makes it clear they're desperate enough to You know, I almost feel anything. like I almost feel like maybe we should just give them a little bit of food and they'll go away. You know, instead of having to fight and then spend resources fixing the the wall and all that stuff, right? Like it's still it's not free to fight them. You you just going to have to pay off like, you know, 15 wood or something like that to fix the gate every time. And now that it's upgraded, it'll take you know, it'll take more to bring it to full health if they damage it. So I have 303 food. I have 99 meat. I can just give him 15. I'm going to try that. The group scurries to grab the food quickly and packs it up. Thank you so much. Even as the world is right now, I'm glad there's still room for some kindness, the woman says, as the group leaves. Okay. So we, they are just going to leave. Good. We don't really have to fight them, you know? I think once this is done, that means this is empty. Then I can tear this down and start my transition here. You only have 151 left. I think I'll get people transitioned to this building after that. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. And they'll get the we'll get the recyclers transitioned to they're working over here now. Yep. Let's go ahead and tear you down. As soon as your guys get back to work. Which one are you? Over there. Okay. So I want you out. Oh, right. That's not how this works, is it? Of course not. All right. Let's just uh, tear this building down. We're going to make room for other stuff in this. Nobody's living in this shelter anymore. So I think we can tear that down too. This has two workers. We've made a new and discovery. you're going to be working in this area here. Actually, let's focus you. Let's make sure you focus on only one pile at a time. Focus on the one that's closest to you for most efficiency, and then also it gets people out of the, or it gets uh, out of the way for the uh, additional shanties. And when this whole area open, right, eventually we'll have that higher yield, right? We'll be mining that kind of stuff or whatever. But kitchen, kitchen's going right in here. It'll be like, I think it's a big building. I think it's, it's probably about right here, right? And so if that's the case, then we're gonna want to have a water tower kind of embedded back in here. So I'll say probably like right behind the boiler, I guess. Put a water tower there and that will supply all the water that the kitchen will need later on. Dig that. We still are not catching up on clothes because we can't make them fast enough. Good. We were like really behind, right? Uh-huh. Uh, very close. Oh, one more, one more turn. That's all it will take is one more turn. I think I'll set it up like right here. Consider it done. It'll be right here. So this area is good for survivors. We already have a survivor camp here. Good for survivors. Uh, this will give us the clothing, hopefully, if I understand how that works correctly. Mission complete. Thank you, Akeem. Can we go? You don't do a whole lot of damage. I think I'm going to have you go get some stuff instead. Maybe you and Darius can fight these guys. Although there is no real reason to do that. Unless we think there's good loot underneath them. But there's no like quest or anything to fight those specific bandits. Uh, fighting these guys could be a good thing. But they're also very strong. So like bandits have definitely gotten buffed since the last time we played this game. Definitely stronger see about maybe sure seeing that region. Ready. Aramis, hi. Let's have you just Super search done. this while you're waiting. Job done. Kate found more bandits, of course. Uh, so we'll have you work your way back. Uh, let's say Check. let's say you work yeah, here. Sure thing. Just have you reveal this and then eventually I'm going to get everybody together and get you into this area. Um, who else can go and join you for the fight? 
Inuk. Inuk. Yep. Get your attack. 12. That's decent. I'm sending you to the map. Inuk. How am I ahead? Yeah. I'm going to have you go over to here to help out you got with that fight later on. Hakeem yep. probably could have went. I think Darius does some good damage, right? right? Nine. Okay. So he, he and... Yeah, never mind. He's he's a scientist like Hakeem is. Okay. Maybe it was Vegas that does good damage. Or okay damage. 12 damage is okay. I, I want you back at camp, though. Okay. You got all the components. That's your sole job now is just going back. 49 colonists. We're going to start struggling on food. You can see it. Our, our number for food is definitely dropping now. So we're going to need to get a lot more people. Maybe another pier for fishing could be a good idea. Um, if I grab another fishing pier, might be able to set that up in a place where this game agrees with it. I think right here is probably fine. Yep. We'll drop that there. We can get more fish. Um, I think the hunting cabin, we can add another person there. That'll help us get even more you know, trapping and all that kind of stuff. Maybe a second hunter over in this area where we're cutting down the trees, yes, but we are also uh, planting them. So I think maybe getting another... Oh, so you have to... Wait, is there no way to just build the hunting cabin? Do you have to upgrade it? Is there no way to do that? What? Work slots. So, upgrade hunting cabin. So you have to lay this... You lay the trapper first and then that's a weird way of doing it. I don't know if I like that. Ice fishing. Uh, show the auger or warm coat here. Soil studies. Maybe we plant faster. Let's get the hunting crew one, I guess. We're going to be dropping more of these, so we might as well. we'll put this over like so. Get more hunting going. And eventually, right, that's going to happen right here. Uh, what's up? Rats have been eating the crops. That sucks. Pesky rats have taken a liking to the crops and could very well eat away a huge chunk of them. Colonist spots them scoring a hollow tree trunk. They must have been nesting there. Trap them and harvest their meat. Yes. Yeah, good. Colonist devises a simple trap with some leftover food as bait. It takes a while for the rats to take interest, but once they do, they scurry inside, chasing the promise of a tasty meal. One yank of the string traps them in the makeshift cage, ready to be harvested and made into tasty rat burgers. There we go. We got rat meat. Mmm. That's scrumptious. I'm telling ya. Ready. Pinkman is healed up pretty much. 90 health, ready to go. Back to the map you go. That's a fighter. We're gonna take down some bandits now. Pinkman back on the map, that becomes a lot more possible. Mission complete. Nice tools, thank you. Go get the fun boxes, and then I think okay. I'll send you back home. And then where is... I thought I had another notification. Your command. Oh, it's just Pinkman. Okay. Uh, yep, Pinkman, off you go to... Sounds good. He's a little bit slower than the others, yep. so it'll take a while, but All right. get him back over there with the bandits, right? Yep. Uh, you, what you see? Okay, your research speed is pretty bad, so we're probably going to have Kate do it instead. Uh, we got more clothes here. Uh, I'm not going to do that with a fight looming, though. Although this one's not bad. Those science points are really valuable, and you can only do it in... I only need uh, two turns. You're not very healthy. I don't know if I want you fighting. I'm going to have you go right. get that instead of the fight. What you need? I keep putting off the fight, but I mean... Uh, <laughs> like... Uh, I want to fight, but I don't at the same Can't time. Do. Let's just have you guys chill, okay? Just hang out and chill until you have reinforcements. This is 20 damage for you, full health. Uh -huh. uh, Inic here is 12 extra damage with full health. And then Pigment's no 25 damage with full health. That's a lot. I think you guys can probably take both of them without needing anybody. But if we start to attack this one, maybe we'll attack this one first. You know what? I think we'll attack this one first since it's just you three. And then as we move to this one, if you need help, or it looks like you could use the help, Kate will then engage. She doesn't have a whole lot of health after this, but she can then engage near the end of the fight to help finish him off. 
And then we should have all of them done. Hopefully. Uh, I am considering dropping another farm. I was kind of hoping have hoping to have a, a larger field. Or, yeah, have the larger fields before I do that. But this is 90% efficiency. So we can drop one more field. That's not, a, that's not too big of a deal. We'll get somebody on that. And uh, we're just going to need to... I think I need another maintenance building, too, because these things are really contaminated. Yeah. I think I need somebody to decontaminate these buildings, too. Did I just have a lightning strike? Oh, man. Oh, it's so expensive. Oh, no. That's also very loud. Very loud. That's very expensive. Oh, no. I'm not a fan lightning strikes in the very specific spot it's like five components gross um let's get the components committed to where they need to go here we're gonna go environmental bring that open and then also let's go ahead and turn that on at least get the resources delivered where they need to go for now Ugh, that sucks We've made a new discovery. sucks a lot hunting crew completed so i can have extra people work there with 132 science i'm definitely gonna wait I'm definitely going to wait until we have 350 so we can get concrete. At that point, we can start getting people healthier at that point, too. Start eliminating a lot of this pollution. They won't need maintenance as often, etc. Let's do potatoes here. And then we have somebody farming. Yes, okay. Five carriers in this camp. Is that enough? I don't know. I'd like to say I'm convinced it is. I don't think we need two here. We can have two here instead. And then put your work area like right here. 97, 100%. All right. So hopefully we start bringing in more food. We now have an extra fisher with two people fishing. Four carriers now. Uh, extra people fishing, fishing. Two extra people trapping over here. I can upgrade this to a hunting cabin. Yes. Let's do that actually. I, I wish I could just place the hunting cabin, you know? That upgrade thing is a little bit strange. Like, I know how to make it. Let's just build it straight up. Oh, well. What's up? Uh, let's put you... I can do that now, this turn. How may I help? You can fight this turn, too. Uh, but let's move what Pinkman into position, and then we can probably have him try. He's he's two turns away, so we're not going to engage yep. these guys just yet. Going. We'll get you nearby, but not on the target. Right away. And then How you're going to go and okay. start researching. That, sh that should give us the research we need to start for the concrete. What else do we got? Vegas. In. Get in here, man. Really? That's what you got going for you right now? Moving. It's, you're that close, but you can't get in. Come on now. Shoot. Hakeem, what you see? My pleasure. And then All Darius done. is completed on the boxes. Let's have you right. search that. And I could probably have you come back with your tools because we're running low, low on that too. I need more clothing. Wait a minute. Bring it up here. Hang on. You. What's up? You're in position. I can't build the outpost. Why? Can't build in an occupied sector? Oh. You, you, you wound me. <laughs> I am wounded. But it's right there. It's so close. It's right here. Can I trade? Oh, you have stuff. But we don't have a trade center. But I could trade. Look at her. Oh, doesn't she command authority? Look at that. Oh, I like her. She's awesome. Okay, mall town. Founded inside a massive shopping mall, stores have been converted into apartments, and other areas are heavily barricaded to repel intruders. Its inhabitants are well aware of what they have, and they furiously defend their homes. They're very cautious of letting outsiders into the place. Uh, uh, shopping mall is a great place to set up camp. They have 305 concrete. Oh, they have chickens. I need this stuff, right? Diversity for, for our diets and everything. Uh, I need to make peace. Uh, in the meantime, though, this settler's got a long trek because I need you to actually set up down here. So you're not going to be able to set this up for like a long time. It's going to be like nine turns. Yikes. Sure thing. Uh, <laughs> I want those clothes though, man. I want those those clothes to just constantly be coming at me. 
yeah and then these components are also very dangerous to get 69 components 15 damage every 12 hours good god that's like a job for hakeem uh -huh. no the 200 percent who's yes. the one with 200 percent is that you somebody has 200 percent uh -huh. scavenging is it inuk yeah that's like a job for you man crazy all right well uh that's disappointing i guess i didn't um uh, is there any way i would have known that before trying like i don't think you can know that before you try it right that you can't set up a in an occupied zone oh well like now you get to the part where it's like do you want to just really meteor i have to decide if i actually want to repair that or not it's just a it's just a burner we're gonna have another winter so you probably should i probably should probably should upgrade this one too uh the boosted burner maybe i move it i think i should move it does there does uh, another shanty fit here no so i think i move this boosted burner here yeah Okay, we're going to demolish the burner. Do I get to keep the the firewood? I do. Okay, good. Um, so I want to take and move the burner. So we're going to need it eventually. Winter is going to come again. Got to figure out where it is. Yeah, burner. Boosted burner right here. So instead of using that plastic, we'll use the metal that we don't have. Yeah, we'll upgrade it later. As long as I have one. Yeah, we'll upgrade it later. We'll put you right here instead uh this i mean like i could repair it it is look like it's getting auto repaired but uh, i didn't really want to spend the plastic on it We've reached a plastic's the only thing i have a good supply of though i'm running out of wood too we're using a lot of it for construction i'm building a lot of things you know all the components are delivered pretty much all the metals delivered on the waste dump we're just waiting on concrete and that's what we need the research for we're at 157 on the map on the map it's uh it's kate that's doing it right how, how close are you 13 hours and then we'll have 309 points and that's enough that's enough to get us where we need to be man specialists are ready for action hakeem what's up mission complete okay so lots of science points very dangerous area, right? There's a lot of stuff going on there, but um, not too shabby. The question is, like, do I take... I think I bring the pills back and just have you rest. I think I will. I'm going to I'm gonna do a little bit less micromanaging with Hakeem for a moment. Yes. Vegas, get in here. With all of your of components, course. get in here. Mission and then um, Darius sees this area. We could start maybe gathering some fuel. We could because there's a car here right we we saw that and um ready actually wondering if i could can i have the yeah can i have you drive this car can the settler not can the settler not drive cars he doesn't appear as though he's able to drive cars right away. i keep trying to do the things with the one guy that can't do them yeah. what's up i think darius is gonna go get it no it's really f that's the, that's the main quest right there Ah, Darius, go get that car. It's gonna take a long time, but go get the car. Your command. All right, Aramis is ready. Pinkman, can you yes. get there? One more turn. You're so slow. Why are you so good. slow, Pinkman? All right, one more turn. And then she's yep. gonna be done in 12 more hours. Great. Goodness. Well, the positive side. If there's positive news, we don't have any clothes, right? Uh, so it's kind of a nudist colony. I had a one person comment that we had ourselves a nudist colony. Thanks. Appreciate it. It's great. <laughs> they come through the walls. They don't know what to expect, but they got way more than they way more than they expected out of it. Uh, and then uh, we should be. It looks like we're actually having a hard time maintaining these. 28 percent, 9 percent said not, not really. But as we add more buildings in this area, we're totally going to need to have more people maintaining this stuff. And then I can upgrade this for 30 metal. Gross. 
Tell me all the metals delivered here. No. No. That's a hundred metal. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. So what's the that needs to happen? What's the solution here to getting faster stuff? Well, you know, well faster. Like, what's the solution to getting stuff faster? Just having more people, right? Building another scavenger, perhaps. Hunting cabin. Let's make sure you're 100% efficient. There's just no reason why we should be low on food. But in the event that we are, uh, I guess I just drop another hunting. More hunting, maybe over here. Maybe, I don't know. This thing is 100% scouted, so I feel like we don't need the tower anymore, right? We can pull people out of them once it's 100% scouted. Get more carriers. We're good on water. We should be great on storing it, too. Okay, well, 60% full, I guess. Concrete scavenging is started. Right there. Good. So we just got, we just got all the research we needed. She's not done yet. Oh, two hours. Okay. Pink man? Not yet. Gotta wait. Just a couple more hours, and then we're gonna attack these guys. We've reached a milestone. Badlands Oasis. I really wish I could click this and get a description of what it is. You know? Instead of having to click this and then read them one by one, right? Like, I wanna know what these are. Healing hands. Okay, we have 50 colonists healed. Iterative progress. What was that? Had five upgraded buildings. Okay. Um, Badlands Oasis is reached a population of 50. And then we also got hit the books. 10 colonists educated. Nice. 75% difficulty. Like, this isn't like Surviving Mars where you can just go way up above 100. So. And I honestly don't care. I'm just having fun. I hope you guys are having fun too. This is, um, this has always pretty consistently been a fun game. You know? Uh, I don't know if I'll do another one after this. But, uh, you know, it's been cool watching the game sort of progress as we go, right? It, kind of catching up with all the different changes as they're made. Uh -huh. Very nice. All right, we should be able to take these guys, these guys down pretty easy now. Engaging hostile. Yep. So everybody engage Engaging them all at hostile. once. We uh, overpower them by a lot. Uh, we should be able to win that. And then Kate is done with the research. She's still wounded. She's done with the research though. And I should be able to bring her I, I think I should just bring her home. She has meds, too. Okay. I'm going to tell her to return. Although these guys are probably going to be wounded after the battle, they may not have the strength to win this war, too. To win that battle, too. But yep. you can always try. Uh, is there any other places like that I want to set up? No. No. I, I, want the, I want the... Yeah, I totally want the clothing. Check. It's the only thing in the world that matters right now is getting clothing. Because everybody's... Well, okay, tools matter as well. But that's coming back... At least it should have came back with Vegas. Didn't Vegas have a ton of tools? I'm pretty sure Vegas had a ton of tools on him. Somebody did. I think it's Darius, actually, that has Ready? it. He's got a bunch of tools. Yeah, 14 tools. Um, You know what? Check. Return to Colony. Bring those tools back here. They're also very durable, too. But we should probably start making our own. We just don't have the metal to do it because of all the buildings we're making. So, you know, I'm doing that typical thing again where I queue up too many construction projects at once and we start to get a little low on supplies and all that stuff. But, you know, it's 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 fine. It's, it's fine. The waste dump will be done soon. 55 concrete's all it needs. And then uh, we've got 43 metal delivered so another 60 ish metal uh goes here 57 metal here we have somebody homeless uh, deliver more metal there i need more metal like metal is metal is everything how do i pr promote you guys to you know giving me more metal get more get it faster do it faster everyone make a road that goes out that way straight out that way maybe they'll take this road direct instead of going around maybe that'll help them i don't know and then uh i guess the only other way to do it would be to build yet another one of these right 
Just build another scrapper. We've made a new I guess that's that's it, right? We have six carriers. Uh, concrete scavenger is going to be needed. That's 50 more metals. There's <laughs> just so many metals. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to have another scrapper right over here. Uh, or here. I don't know where the fertile land is. It's not this. Put it there. And we're just going to get another scrapper so they can just keep going to this this way. Just keep getting more, you know? And then we can start building the homes that we need. Because we have one homeless person. And we need to start building that now, too. So I'll take care of the homeless person. We have concrete. Uh, we have the ability to go out and get concrete now. That's a thing. We're fighting battles on the map again. Lots of things happening. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And I hope yes. you'll come back and join me for the next one. Uh, because I'm sure we'll start with environmental uh, in the next one. We'll probably have... We'll have concrete, at least a little bit of concrete at that point, and um, we can start getting some of the pollution and stuff taken care of. And then I, I think the next major thing to work on for, for research is going to be communal eating. I think this is the big, this is the one I want to do next. So as soon as we start getting the research in, they're going to start this next. We're going to get that cookhouse up, and uh, we'll, we'll need to, of course, up our firewood at that point, but... Uh, yeah, no, I think that's that's the next step. So thanks, guys. I appreciate you watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. An hour-long video for surviving the aftermath today. We still have no clothes on. Take care. Bye-bye.